going to call this meeting to order. It is uh, 5.03. Uh, so we'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can you have the roll call, please? Yes. Santa Cabasayala. Present. Victor Villarreal. Absent. Rosnio Villarreal. Present. Esmeralda Rodriguez. Present. Roberto Ortiz. Present. Angelica Salina. Present. Mario Lopez. Present. Rosa Maria De, De Llano. Absent. Etelvina Perez. Present. We have a quorum. Okay. Uh, I think we're here under citizens' comments. We have one individual, is that correct? Yes. Well, no, they're going to go under communications. Under communications, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, there are no citizen comments at this time. Minutes, you want to read the minutes and approve or, or, or change or amend? Accept the minutes or two minutes. Mr. Rodriguez makes a motion to accept. Do we have a second? I have a second. Uh, all those in favor accept the minutes as they are. Aye. All those opposed? All right. The ayes have it. And we accept the minutes as they are. Okay. Uh, next item under the communications and announcements. Since she's not here, if we could just skip over the staff reports and have Nikki uh, is going to talk about the, the signage for outside. That we were talking about, and there's something in your in your packet. That's what she has designed. Yes. So um, my apologies, Ms. Luis did ask me to make this uh, toward the end of the year last year, but with the holidays and everything, and pictures of Santa and everything got kind of pushed back. But so this is the design we're thinking of going with, keeping it very simple, um, basic information, um, a design that will hopefully just not go out of style in a, in a few years. We hope it'll last a little bit. Um, but we do have to get um, quotes. Right? Quotes, yes. We do yes. have to get quotes, and then once once that's approved, um, we, can move mm -hmm. we need a design before we, we can. Need, yeah, we need yes. a design. To get so, quotes. Uh, that's the last meeting you had requested to see the design. Okay. Any thoughts or, or suggestions? I have one. What size would it be, Nikki? Uh, Seventy-two by forty-eight. To, re to replace what's outside. To replace what's outside. So right, yes, I, I, yes, I know. So it's basically the same size. Yes. Okay, and uh, that metal material, whatever material it is that is going to be durable, and, and uh, because I love the blue color and the yellow, it's so beautiful and bright, makes a big difference. 
I just, you know, I don't know what material so that it will not fade with the sun and yeah, all that. It's, it's vinyl. It's vinyl. It's, it's like what they vinyl. use on the mobile library. Okay. Yes, I have something that sort of related to it, and Bob had mentioned in the last meeting. If we could make these I like it. bigger and put them on the doors, just I'm, because you know, we, we are we familiar did, with this. We yeah. did try, but mm -hmm. they fell off yeah. with the humidity. So we're trying to find a, some sort of system where we can we, they will stay on. I know Moss had tried some with suction cups, and it's specifically for that to yeah. and, and they fall. Right there, yeah. Yes, they they fall they, yeah. they fall off. So we're trying to figure out some way that'll work with glass because yeah. yeah. that's where. Yeah, because you know, we know and people that are looking for it, but if you come to the library and it's right there at the door, mm -hmm. and a bigger poster mm -hmm. with, yeah. you know, well, something, uh, something like real a chain pump spark. Yeah. So, no, we've tried many something, things, but yes. so, something else I've noticed is a lot of times when people enter the library, they just walk straight in. Mm -hmm. They walk straight past it. So what work, What I've seen work okay. is on the counters. Okay. Yeah. On the counters, we have some uh, in the children's area on the on in front right. of the office. Right. We have some upstairs. There's a, a board mm -hmm. with uh, current events and stuff like right. that. And we also have a, um, a display case along the wall right here next to Ms. Solis right. and Angie's office. Yeah, yeah. Because when when people walk in, they just exactly they just go Straight right in. in. Yeah, yeah, wherever they're. But we did in. try. Oh, we yeah, did try to put some there. on, yeah. but they take them off. I guess with the humidity. Yeah. We also make small ones for them to take know. with them. Ms. Solis. May I ask a question? Yes. I have a question. What is the possibility of getting the signs like they have at the schools, the mark, like the signs that are digital, where you know the activities could be yes. posted on there? That and has like been brought up again. Closed and things like that. You know, like Robert, like you know what you're talking about, right? You know yes. what I'm talking about? Yes. The but like the school yeah. digital signs that are uh, that that are light bright and, and they're lit up. Yes, we had looked into that. It, this committee had brought it before, mm -hmm. and we did go up pricing it, and we did. I think the, the lowest was twenty thousand yeah. dollars. We do not have that in our budget. We do not have that in our budget. But didn't somebody say that they would look into gifting us money? Well, the, and I think there was a council money. member that's no longer there, so. Um, so it's you're talking. You're saying it's twenty about twenty thousand dollars. That's what it was. So Depending, and it's a very simple one, not like the ones you see the billboards. It's just a simple digital, uh, you know, just text, just text. Like the schools, like the, like some, something like similar to what the schools have. Yes, and I don't, that was several years ago. I don't know about now. Mm -hmm. Well, I I think uh, I think it's still worth looking into again. We can, um, I can be, get be, quotes. Be, yes, maybe? because I know that city council that city council person is not there anymore. But even then, just based on the amount of money that that this department or the library system does generate for the city, well, in some and, respects, and I was trying to use that to maybe hire <coughs> more staff. Yeah, we, uh, the the well, revenue that we well, that we bring. My, my point is not to use our revenue. Mm -hmm. My point is that that in pointing out to to city council, I mean, I don't know. We need to go to ask him again. So, and advocate, right, advocate, advocate for yeah. on our behalf and say, look, the, the libraries do all of this. Yeah. Could you right. all see it of getting out of somewhere mm -hmm. else? Some budget, yeah. To, to I, I know that's a tall order. I, I, mm -hmm. I get it, but the worst that can happen is no. Mm -hmm. And we already know that. So why not just even try? I would say uh, not from the budget of the library, mm -hmm. uh, but from. Uh, somewhere else, whether it's, whether it's gifted or whether it's granted or something. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth asking. It's just that, you know, there are so many good programs going on and at all right. of the libraries, mm -hmm. and you should get the credit for it, and you should get the people to come, because there's so much good going on, and it goes unnoticed, you know, that's the thing. Right, and, 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 and that was my point last time with it, trying to get them posted, the, these kinds of activities posted everywhere even if they just go to the circulation desk something even doesn't have to be on the door so to speak but something that is in their line of sight yeah, that is there some, they, yeah there's some on in display um uh, what are they called sign holders i guess right yeah. right something to that because like when i come in like i came in today i didn't notice anything 
I just took a right, right? If I'm just taking a right, well then I'm not, if I just take a left, if I just go straight, but something that's really kind of immediate, I don't know, so, something so that, like as, 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 as was mentioned, you know, for y'all to get the credit for everything, because this is the one department that I think makes the city look good. You know, you know what I mean? I it's, agree, I you know, totally agree. It makes the city look look really good, and that we have what we, we all know. We some of us has been, have been here a long enough time to remember when all the other cities uh, were closing libraries, we were opening them. You know, and, and I think uh, it's something that needs to be. We need to continually put the library, the library system of Laredo, in the spotlight to continually get support. Right? It's just one of those type of like marketing 101 things to, to get that kind of support coming in to the public libraries. That's just my opinion on it. Yeah, because you all had a booth at the health fair? That, uh, yes, health fair. You had a booth there, you know. Yes, and we try to do a lot of outreach. as much outreach as, as, as we possible. can. It was great. It was came out in all, you know, the print and news and the TV, so that was awesome the publicity. Yeah, that's good. Another idea that we should look into is that uh, maybe uh, promote the events on the official Zero the Rail Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, we have, I was looking right now, and in Instagram we have, the city has 21,000 um, followers, and on Facebook we have 78,000. And, and that is probably controlled by the PIO, and we share all this with them. Well, so I don't know how they select what goes out to the public, but we can we can certainly request that they share our, yeah, our mean, flyers with them. I, there's obviously there's everything that's important, but like everyone was mentioning right now, this is really interesting. I mean, there's people, the only people that are here, like us, or people that are interested in the library, mm -hmm. are going to know about the events. But maybe there's a lot of people that are interested, but just don't. No, mm -hmm. don't come because they'll know. No, we, we have our Instagram, but we can certainly ask the PIO to share it on the yeah. cities. Yeah. Yes. It, al yes. it also helps if any of you follow us on social media to also share um, with your with your friends. You know, maybe they don't follow us, but they'll see it if you share it also. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, thank, thanks for uh, well, updating us on this and the effort you're continuing to make yeah. here. Showcase, showcase the library. Yes, and we'll, we'll exactly what we're gonna do. ask for quotes on this to yeah. see how much. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank, Thank, Thank you. I know that you want to take the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did she say what? I, I think she was just right outside the doors to the left. I, I, the maybe right, we, uh, we close the, the door and see. Where is the Where is the sign that we are replacing? The, it's out there, it's a big metal, it, we've had it since we opened, but it's in bad shape. Outside? <laughs> yes. yes. And there's good? another one as you drive it's in, the exact right. same right. one. Okay. The entrance. The entrance. Yeah, yeah. It would probably be in the corner, and then we'd have to follow the sign. Staff reports? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Well, and uh, what well, part of it was Nikki? And then you also have the the checklist for this month, if you want to go mm -hmm. and look at those. Question the the uh, the landscaping at all of our sites. Are, are, are is every single one of those? Uh, there's an irrigation system like to make. I, I know that's sometimes not grass. It's weeds or something mm -hmm. like that. 
And has there, because you as a, as, a, as a department head, have there been any conversations like to, you know, because we're at stage, what, three with water? Mm -hmm. And maybe four coming, right? It's the beginning of the summer. Has there been any conversations as to, to I guess the term is ex exerscape? All yes, of them? Yes, yes. Like to say, you know, why are we watering that which yeah. we should be taking mm -hmm. initiative as a city I'm sure that's coming down the line for city departments, um, but we follow the same watering schedule as as, as residents. Yeah, because I'm I'm just wondering why the city hasn't incentivized for homeowners, businesses, you and name it. They are discussing that. It's been brought up at city council. Because I'm already doing it on their yes. own. I've seen it. Um, the one thing that was discussed that uh, people that have HOAs they won't be penalized for zero escaping because uh, a lot of them have you know rules for their yes. for your landscaping yeah, they have a ton of rules mm -hmm. a ton of rules yes and i was just wondering like if we were going to start doing something like that at all of at least the, the sites for the city any mm -hmm. any site any public facility and we have a lot of exactly yeah. and it's just i'm sure that the the bill's not cheap and mm -hmm. uh and, and the maintenance and of course then you got to cut it and then you got all of that, you know, I think you could almost get rid of an entire department just by doing that in the city. I would greatly help. I'm just wondering if that was something that was. So. I'm sure it's coming down the pipe. <laughs> okay. It's not going to change, even if they find another water source. It's not going to change. Uh, Ms. Solis, Sir Rosa Maria Tellano, I was wondering if you can see me. I've been yes, yes, I'm sorry. Um, if the yes, chair okay. could recognize that she yes, joined us. We <laughs> recognize Ms. Tellano. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I couldn't, I couldn't get the web WebEx started. No, you're, you're good, Ms. Tellano. We can see you I and hear you, Ms. Tellano. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for I'm uh, agreeing with everything the sit the sit send up. Zero escaping and everything, yeah. I think the zero escaping makes a lot of sense. Especially. I mean, that can even be some sort of, and I'm just, just thinking off the top of my head because we did something similar at my campus where, you know, as a project, you know, for over, you have, you have Christmas break, you have, a, you know, the kids decorate rocks and you have a rock garden instead, right? You know, something to that effect that can mm -hmm. lend to, uh, you know the, the beautification at the same time you're exorcising you're going to take out that whatever's the there portion of right right and, and put that that would really that would help in my opinion. or more bricks more bricks there you go and make some money and make some money and then buy that sign hey, and sell bricks to buy that twenty thousand dollar digital sign yeah it's a good idea yeah. but i was thinking of zero escaping to the zero and we could offer, you know, classes to the community. How can we zero skate or zero, whatever it's called? Zero. But yeah, the, I'm, 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 okay. or you got those big, zero. those big, uh, you know, the square blocks, and then have sell them, you know, to people. As I mean, there's so many things we could do. That might be something we could look into for. I know we don't meet in July, but maybe in August. Like, August. what are some options as far as? Uh, we're killing two birds with one stone, right? Uh, we're trying to raise some monies at the same time, uh, zero Escaping, out whatever yeah. kind of uh, vegetation, that is, particularly it's grass, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, the trees are fine. You can keep those. It's just yeah. the grass, the grass yeah. right? Because that just is just insane. Escape with, with the, the, the local vegetation and not Bermuda where I need. All right. Oh, I don't know what the ranches use, but. I was on the highway, you know that, and and I was looking. It, it's green, but may, probably because it's been raining. But uh, what do they use? You know, what does we could look into that? What do the, the Texas um, highways use? So the highways can be. The, it's probably Sarah Escape also, I think. But I, I would offer a course of Sarah Escape you know, from somebody, somebody knowledgeable and offer it to the community and then do it for our, our libraries. Mm -hmm. I have two you know, librarians our, that have taken our master gardeners so oh. they can come up with something. They just took the courses, so. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. You know, that'd be great, something we could offer here. Bambi is not local, but they don't require 
watering. You know, the less you water them, the better they grow. What's I think. That? What's that? Oh, bougainvillea. Bougainvillea, yeah. for example. They have spinach. They're not local <laughs> plants, bougainvillea, but the less you water them, I think the better they grow, to me. Or something, I'm just, you know, off the top of my head, what we could do so so we don't have to water our landscape. You know, something like that. Yes. No, you're right. They, they, they tend to flower the less you water them. Yeah. 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 So bring somebody who knows. I don't know, but um, that's why I'm just suggesting bring somebody who knows uh, to Xeriscape so we could Xeriscape all our libraries. And then also as a class to our to our patrons, you know, to our library patrons. I would be I would be interested in in going to that class. It's a suggestion. A good one. Thank you. I'm ready. Okay. Yes. Oh. I can log myself in. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna hear a presentation from Miss. I'm sorry, your name, Emma. Uh, Caitlin Fish. Caitlin Fish, uh, it's, it's the lady uh, that Judge uh, Biarriad had, had said was going to come by today. What's the last name again, please? Fish, like the animal. <laughs> Um, I'm also a staff attorney here with Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid in our Laredo office. Uh, and I'm here today to present to you all about uh, the Texas Legal Services Center Legal As Access Kiosk Program. Uh, this program it has been in, in progress for about 18 months. Um, but for today, I really wanted to introduce the project, give you some background, uh, talk about why this is something we want to do, bring here to Laredo and why we think perhaps our libraries are a great opportunity and way to do that. Um, as well as some next steps, depending on how, what you all might need to do and think about uh, and how you might want to proceed. Okay, so as I mentioned, this project was initiated by the Texas Legal Services Project. Uh, the Texas Legal Services Center is a statewide agency uh, that provides legal advice and legal information uh, to folks throughout the state of Texas. They're someone that we work closely a lot with at Legal Aid. Um, they do representation, but they also provide a lot of um, forms and pro se assistance materials and kind of plain language guides to various legal issues that folks can access. 
Uh, and so in 2022, they started this project as a way to help, uh, among other things, bridge the digital divide in terms of access to justice, uh, and looked at some models from different places, including the state of Minnesota, uh, to implement the project here in Texas. And so currently, there are over 25 kiosks already in other places around Texas. And one of the documents that I handed out to you is a list of all of the publicly available kiosks. Um, there are some non-publicly available ones, um, for example, in a couple of uh, domestic violence organizations and places like that where they have a kiosk, but it's not available to the public. Um, but I gave you all a list of where they are currently. Uh, and as part of this, Texas uh, Legal Services Center really worked on updating Texas Law Help, which is the um, online resource that they develop where there's forms and toolkits and um, frequently asked questions and all kinds of uh, plain language resources that are now all available in English, Spanish, and Vietnamese on their website. Uh, and they also provide live support as part of these kiosks. Both for folks conducting virtual hearings, and there's also a live chat option available at the kiosk. Uh, so as I mentioned, I gave you all the lists so you can see the locations, including some of which are in public libraries uh, in different places throughout Texas. Uh, this is a photo of what one of these kiosks looks like uh, in person. This is one of the ones in a non-public site, um, but they, uh, the public site ones also look very much like this. So you can see it has a computer and printer set up uh, and um, the, this kind of specialized interface that it looks like when you log in. Uh, it also has instructions on the desk and if you flip it over there in Spanish as to how to navigate the kiosk and use the kiosk. And so at these kiosks, they are set up to do a few different things depending on what somebody needs. They can attend a virtual court hearing uh, the kiosks are pre-installed with Zoom uh, and WebEx and Teams. Those are the big three um, that the court systems around the state of Texas, Texas are using. Um, it's also something that, especially in some of the more rural areas, perhaps clients will use to meet with their attorney. If, if their attorney is maybe in an urban center and they are in a rural area of Texas, this can help facilitate a video meeting between the client and their attorney. Uh, there's also access to the e-filing system, a way to find legal aid, and to scan and print any documents that you might have as part of your case. Uh, one of the things that tech, the TLSC was really uh, mindful of as they developed this is privacy. Uh, privacy issues both in the use of these kiosks by multiple people, um, but also so making sure that all information is being protected. Uh, this system is set up so that you have to not log in, but initiate a session similar to maybe how if you've ever used like a hotel's business center computer, you have to like initiate a session and then once your session ends, it logs out of everything and wipes all your data. And so this is similar at these kiosks that while you're logged in, your data is all there, but once you log out, it'll wipe everything. Um, and as part of this, um, since there are potentially some video meetings, one thing that they ask of host sites is that these uh, kiosks are in a private area or in an area that can be made private uh, because there will be the need potentially for video calls and they do provide headphones as part of that as well. These kiosks were also developed with a lot of accessibility needs in mind. Uh, that desk that I showed you moves fully up and down. You can adjust the height. The um, width also accommodates a standard wheelchair and can be adjusted as well. The kiosk is also on wheels, and so it can move around uh, as necessary. Uh, and there are also other um, accessibility measures built into the software for someone with low vision or things like that, uh, so that they can uh, have full access to the system. Uh, so with these kiosks, uh, the other document that I handed out to, out to you is the uh, startup costs and what this looks like. Uh, for the initial installation of the kiosk. The initial installation is about $9,800. Uh, and then there's an annual cost of $3,300. And that covers the li software licensing. Uh, that also covers, uh, TLSC provides tech support for these kiosks, 
if there are any tech needs or equipment replacement or anything like that, that is all covered in the ongoing costs. Uh, and as I mentioned, the initial installation cost total or the cost for the first year is about $9,800. Uh, as far as what, we're, what is required for the host site, uh, one of the things that they do ask is that the kiosk be connected to power and internet 24-7 so that they can do any remote updates or anything that are needed uh, during off times, <laughs> during non-peak times, and they're not trying to do uh, the updates uh, you know, in the middle of a court hearing at 9 o'clock in the morning, um, as well as a dedicated area, as I mentioned, uh, they, ideally, this would be somewhere private or someplace that could be made private. Um, and then, but other kind of availability or accessibility can be set by the host site. Um, and so you'll notice if you go through the list of, of the host sites, some of them require online reservations, some of them are walk-ins only. Um, I noticed, for example, the last one on the list is one of the public libraries in Corpus. And the hours for the kiosks are limited. It's not all the libraries, or not all of the hours the library is open, but certain hours during certain days, um, or other site restrictions depending on the situation. And so really, why do we want to bring these to Laredo? Well, one thing that um, we've talked about as a bar association, and I've talked about also with Judge Villarreal, is about just how these can increase access to justice. Um, there were some initial thoughts about maybe if we were going to bring one to Laredo, put it in the law library that we already have at the courthouse. But we're really looking for a place that's more accessible, both in terms of hours. You know, the library is open on Saturday, the courthouse is not if somebody works during the week. Uh, it's also parking downtown is a nightmare if you're trying to get to the courthouse. And it's a lot easier at a lot of the libraries. Uh, we also see this as a way to hopefully. Um, that Laredoans can access more quality, good quality legal information. Uh, as I said, these um, kiosks directly connect you to Texas Law Help, which has all kinds of forms and things that folks can fill out. Uh, but it's also something that can really help build, bridge the digital divide here in Webb County. Um, these statistics are from 2022 from the American Community Survey through the Census Bureau. Uh, you may be familiar with some of these, but in fact, almost a quarter of households in Webb County don't have any kind of broadband, uh, and 14% have no internet in the home at all. No cell phone plan with internet, no broadband, nothing. Um, and so that, and 4% have no computer either. And so this creates some major issues of access to some of these really amazing resources that there are online and things like that. Um, and so these kiosks can potentially help with some of that by having a place where folks can access those resources, access those materials, uh, and especially access good quality materials, materials that have been vetted by attorneys who practice here in Texas and are in languages that the clients speak. And so some potential ne next steps, depending on how y'all decide you would want to proceed, um, thinking about some specific site identification. Uh, uh, we had identified and primarily to start with, if we were going to go with the library, potentially the McKendrick Ochoa Salinas one in the south. Um, we had also thought about like maybe Laredo College South or someplace like that, but um, someplace that there's definitely a need in the community and a place where folks will go to access those services. Um, I would also suggest perhaps this library. Um, more so than the other ones in part because um, like Bruni's not open every day and um, the one in the north whose name I'm forgetting, uh, they don't open until 10 a lot of mornings, and court often starts at 8.30 or 9 in the morning. Um, but both this library and McKendrick, at least from, your inner, from the website, say that they open at 9 and, and things like that. Um, and so there's, those are some sites that we haven't had identified, but of course we would potentially defer to you all. Uh, and then we could also, there's a, there's a form that y'all could fill out if you'd like to kind of just work directly with TLSC. Um, I would also connect, offer to connect you directly to, um, at least to start with, his name is Elliot Fontenet at TLSC, who is kind of spearheading this project and who I've been in contact with, uh, with setting up the kiosks at some of our partner agencies in other places of Texas, uh, as well as thinking about um, funding and how we would pay for these uh, kiosks. 
Does anyone have any questions? Uh, on that last bullet, yes. um, this fish uh, securing funding, how do the other, what is the common thread of the other, I guess those that are located in libraries, what, what's a common thread as far as funding with those? Yeah, some of them, uh, is, uh, the lucky ones who were part of the first wave, I believe TLSC covered most of the cost. Uh, but uh, at this point, some of them are sponsored by bar associations or local law firms or other um, nonprofits. Uh, certainly, I believe TLSC could like confirm um, how some of these are funded. But I know at least for some of the first ones that were installed, those costs are actually covered. Okay, so maybe maybe through the local bar association. Yeah, that's something that we had talked about, um, either doing a dedicated fundraiser or if we wanted to find a firm who wanted to, you know, they can put their name on it as long as they give us the money for it, um, or other funding <laughs> options depending on, uh, on, that would work. Uh, yeah, on um, the kiosk itself. And this, is that just the initial setup and the equipment, or is it the annual fee and also? Yeah. yeah, the annual is 3300 that includes all the software licenses and everything. Um, the, yeah, I mean exactly what the sponsorship would look like, I think would depend on uh, how we would set that up. Okay. Um, I mean, one thing Judge also mentioned is if there's a possibility for, especially depending on where we want to place it, if like the particular city councilor has some funds that they could use to support the project as well, um, if that's a possibility, but y'all certainly would know more about that than I would. Would it require any of the library employees to work set up to manage? To manage? Anyway. No. Um, they, I, I mean, I won't say it's impossible that they would be asked to do things. Like, certainly, you know, if the printer is not working, probably the person is going to come and try and find the librarian rather than uh, getting it fixed, like, through TLSC. TLSC does provide tech support and everything through these computers. Um, and so there's no, there's no specific expectation that y'all would provide any kind of like on-site support rather than just like pointing folks to the right direction. Um, but that's not to say that, of course, certainly that is something that potentially if there's an issue connecting to the internet or something like that, potentially those are going to be questions for. Um, I'm also thinking, um, I, I see that they're going to be making reservations, but how was how is someone to know that the kiosk is going to be used for someone, a user who already registered? Right. <clears throat> Reservations are not required. That is something that varies from site to site. So some sites do require a reservation, and some sites are walk-ins only, kind of first come, first served. And that would be, I think, depending on, and maybe it starts out as walk-ins, and you move to reservations, or vice versa. I think awesome. that would be subject to the particular library where it's set and the availability of the kiosk. You also mentioned they have to be in a private area, and that's mm -hmm. another a, a concern of mine. Yes. Uh, How private? To find <laughs> a place yeah. in, yeah. in the library. Very cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Aren't are there like some little uh, meeting rooms? We have stuff? study rooms, but they're mm -hmm. very well used. So, uh, but you did mention they were portable also. Yeah, it so is on wheels. It is on wheels, and that might be something that we could, I'm, I'm thinking of here. I I don't want to commit the mechanical truck because I know that they're, <laughs> they're smaller <laughs> than us, but I'm thinking of this building. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's those smaller rooms upstairs mm -hmm. here. And also the connectivity and everything, we would have to involve IST. Mm -hmm. uh, that, right. that yes, is, that's a whole separate question. <laughs> we have, yes. And you can't, you really also need to be very careful that it's not Public too facing. much of a, but, yeah, but at the same time, not too much of a enclosed area and a private area because then now you're looking at possible damage being mm -hmm. done to it because, yeah. you know, cameras are it's not facing that, that to direction, to to see. that sort of thing. Right. So that's, that would be something to, to review as well. Well, I like it. I, I think it's something that, that is needed, especially, uh, you know, we're, a lot of our community still is very rural and they do not have, I can I could tell you, I work in one. Um, and, and yes, they have a lot of legal questions and at least maybe this way that that's a, a service that, that, that the city can provide or at least a, somehow a location where they can go and, and ask 
right? So I do, I do like the program. Uh, but it's a lot, there's a lot of details to be worked out. Yes. Uh, available, space availability, funding, uh, management of all these things, right? I, I agree. So, but definitely something for us to look into and, and maybe get a report on it is uh, in next time mm -hmm. to see how how far along uh, we are on it. So, is this presented to the to the council? Thank you, thank you very much for that for that uh, report and for your presentation. We'll be talking, yes. so we can. Uh, uh, this, I, this is not something that has been presented to council yet. Oh. Um, but it was just a possibility. Yeah. And, and we would have to, if we're working with the bar association, there would be an MOU, and that's when we could bring it to council. But if you want to make a presentation before that, yeah, certainly. Um, is there a, any? Is there anything that says, uh, as far as, because you said. About on, whether you can reserve online or, or walk in, mm -hmm. which one's more successful of the programs that are here? Yeah, I don't. I can certainly tr ask TLSC to have if about that information because I do know they keep. I mean, obviously the client data is protected, but Correct. they still leak. They still um, keep information about how often the kiosk right. is used, what it's used for, and, and things like good. that. Um, if that's something y'all would be interested in, I can ask uh, the folks yeah, at Yeah, just to, because we do want to, you know, it's something that would work, right? Yeah. Something that's fun. And that's the thing, that if they're making reservations or making right. appointments per se, then that needs to be made public somehow so that if somebody wants to come in to use it, they know at these uh, particular times it's already reserved or, or there's an appointment already going on and it will not be available because right. there's no point in them coming in and then it's not available. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I can definitely follow up with uh, TLSC about that. Mr. Lopez, did you have a comment? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh, or a question? No, no. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave my contact information here with y'all if there are any follow-up questions or anything that you have. Uh, and you're welcome to reach out to me. Um, and uh, yes, we'll be in touch. All right. No, definitely. Thank definitely. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank, Thank you very much for this. this, is, this is Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Uh, we were under the library director's update, I and believe. That's, uh, the checklist. The checklist. <coughs> I don't know if anybody had any questions or concerns. Uh, I'm, I was looking through it to see did the last rainstorm, although it was a lot, a lot minor than what was here earlier in June, right? Uh, it was just Thank pretty you. water. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't as severe as the other no, one. No, not the last one. The, the last, the previous, I did report at the last meeting and right. we did have um, in the Faskin and we're working on taking care of all the issues. That was probably the worst that got it the worst. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't that far. <laughs> Just a lot of cleanup. Anything on this last one? No. Mm -mm. No water, no major water leaks anywhere or anything? No, I don't know. We just didn't get a lot in this area. Yeah, because I know some some buildings like that I know personally that that got some water seepage only because of the damage from last time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that happened with any of our any of the facilities no, in the library, right? Well, we just getting Yes, but yes, uh, theirs was coming underneath the the. So they've added a lift to the and so now this last time they didn't have any come in. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Checklist or anything? All right. Then we'll move on to the recent and upcoming library programs and services. Okay, and then you have the flyers in your in your packet. Mostly they're the same because we're continuing with the summer reading summer. programs. Um, <clears throat> there is a, a the poet Lord is having a a an event next month on the thirteenth. Yes, I saw that, and I already shared it. Is Rosa Maria still on? Yes, I'm still here. 
Yes, I will be there too. I've already told her I will be there. Okay, yes. I guess I can't see you. No, I cannot see anybody. I don't know what happened when the no, presentation was on. Oh, she probably, see, but, but yes, I will be there too. Okay. Yes, I've already told my friends, uh, you know, Raquel and, and um, Patricia and Sylvia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and hopefully um, Malena Charur will be there too. Good. Yes, and I'll share it. It's a good idea. Share yes. it. Is share to share it with our with other with our. But if we share it with our friends, it's easier. Yes. Uh huh. I like that idea. Yes. What time is it? June thirteenth. Um, do you have the three to five thirty? Okay. It's in the afternoon, yeah. Yeah, it's her, it's her book, right? Her new yes. book. Or, yes, okay. yes. any one of you. I don't know if you can see me. No, no, Ms. Diana. We can hear you, but we just can't see you, Mr. Diana. I'm still here. Okay. Okay. Anybody have any comments on any of the upcoming library events or program services? No. Okay. All right, then we'll move on to the monthly statistics. And that's it. You do have a copy of those, the, the graphic and then the, the actual spreadsheet. So that there's been a reduction in the number of web page hits. It's on the first page. This is minus 23% of web page hits. Probably, yes. So the number here on the, on this, the 4,000, the 4,400 is a, is a decline. decline. Mm -hmm. The current month. Oh, okay. Is that because school's out? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> They're not using the databases yeah. right. and the and the online. Okay. It says program tour. 
they, they, we usually get them a, a lot around May when the kids are, yeah, winding down. And we do get schools coming in oh, for tours. Okay. Yes. Um, I know there was one week in May where it's like yeah, <laughs> nonstop, nonstop. Oh, okay. And then there's so, when they come here, there's so many, we divide them into three groups so that we have three different ones going. Oh, okay. 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 But that's usually when we get <coughs> most of them. Either go to the movies at the mall or they come to the library. Well, that and then they go to the bowling. We're yeah, always right, part right. two it's or part one. You're part one and then they go to the library. Field trips, right? Education. When is the free grade? Is it free? Yeah, I think it's free. We can't <laughs> yeah, fund the title <laughs> one just going to the bowling. Yeah. Yeah. You so have to tie it into something. You have to tie it into something instructional, so that's why. That's sports? No. <laughs> yep. What's texture? That's a uh, database from the state. Actually, several databases. Are you talking about the cards? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Cards, um, that's a, a if you get one from us, if another library is participating in this program, you can go and check out materials uh, at that library. But each library sets their own standards. So you can only take five items. It right. depends on what they, they want to do. But if they participate, your card's good there. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes, like, we make you get one here. Mm -hmm. But you, you bring your library, your texture from another library card, you're good. able to use it here. Not too many are getting this, but it, the program exists. I see a lot of the volunteer hours. Uh, is it it's four thousand? Are the volunteers screened anyway? Are they? We we do our own screening. Um, the ones for the summer, because usually they are teens. Yes. Uh, Miss Jackie holds an orientation for them and they need to commit to certain hours. And there, there is a point, I think right now, she's not taking any more because she has the, the orientation and if they don't show up with the parents, so right. most of the time, because they're minors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we have a good crowd right now that's volunteering, helping out. Anyone have any observations or questions about the monthly statistical reports? Okay, then we'll go to the items and a discussion for possible action, uh, item number eight. The next meeting will be in August, correct? August 28th. August 28th. Ms. Dayano, Ms. Uh, Ayala, did you hear that one? For August 28th. August 28th. Yes. There'll be no meeting in July. I want to make sure uh, the... Uh, Judge, you have the Yes, okay. Okay. And then some of the other items, I guess, uh, a review of the, you know, uh, we talked about the marquee, right? Uh, right. Possibility of that, maybe even a uh, possible fundraiser, if that's something that maybe we, we want to go through. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, this uh, Mrs. Fish's presentation from the Webb County, I think it's Legal Aid? Was that was that it was or, or? yeah uh, with county bar association bar, bar. Yeah. yeah we can see what judge Villarreal has to say at the next meeting he he wasn't able to attend so I'm sure he'll have some uh, of his comments as well that he may be able to help out yes particularly like the funding of course yeah. like the, right. that would be something mm -hmm. to, to look at any other items from anybody for for next time no. Alrighty. Oh, oh the, 
about uh, Sarah's game. Oh, about yes. About yeah, so what's yeah. the city's plan? Like, if they're, if they're already looking at that for our libraries. City department, yeah. yeah, maybe even something that we can offer we can, we can as, water. as. Yes, like, as we can, um, you know, with those two ladies who are master gardeners, maybe a workshop that, because that, I think the city sort of needs that. You know, I see a lot of, you know, lawns that are just. And every time I see a new business, like why are they going with grass? grass. You know, why are we why are we allowing that as a city? Mr. Yeah. Feet, did, uh, last year the athletic department can uh, take away the well, got rid of the grass and at the playing fields that they put. Yeah, there, there's turf. Turf. Now, right? turf. Even at, at Old Kruger there's turf. At oh, the sack it's yeah, turf. It's, it's uh, like even at the practice fields I the think they're, fields, they have they're turf. Everywhere now. Right. However, the schools still have well, whatever's there, they're still watering it. I can tell you that. Yeah. But yeah, the, the playing fields, uh, I think the only one that's not turf are the baseball fields and softball fields. I think they're still grass. I'm not sure. <laughs> but the, the larger fields of football, yeah, those are those are turf. I think Unitrade did that. They went with turf? I think they did. It's just, yeah, it's less upkeep. It works all right, you know. I mean, anyway, uh, any other uh, items for next for next meeting? Do we mm -hmm. have a uh, or library advisory committee ab member absences? Just uh, Mr. Rayan. Judge Rayan. And any motion to adjourn? Mrs. Rodriguez made a motion, and Mrs. Deano uh, second, right? Yes. Okay. All those in favor? Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Ayes have it. Meeting is adjourned at 5.59.